Hello. Before going to start writing skill, I would like to tell something about the English language to you, because that will help you have the better understanding of the language, and later on you can write better English if you have the sense of English language. Now, if you look at the history of England, you see England has sea in three sides. Unlike uh, Indian society, English society is not an agricultural society or agrarian society. English people are basically businessmen by nature. Actually, the British people landed on an Indian shore not to reign but to do business. Even Rabindranath Tagore was also of uh, also of the view that boni boniker mandondo pohailo ra boniker mandondo dekha dilo rajdondo rupe pohaile shorbori. Bonik means what? Bonik means businessman. Those who came to do business became rulers thanks to the contemporary political situation of India. Jara bapsha korte eshe chilo. তারাই কিন্তু শাসকে পরিণত হলো কারণ আমাদের তৎকালীন রাজনৈতিক অবস্থা তাদেরকে সুযোগ দিয়েছিল ইফ ইউ রিড হিস্ট্রি ইউ ক্যান ফাইন্ড দ্যাট অ্যাট ফার্স্ট ব্রিটিশ কুইন ডিড নট টেক ওভার দ্য রেইন অফ ইন্ডিয়া অ্যাট হার ওন হ্যান্ড ইট ওয়াজ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানি হু হুইচ ইউজ টু রুল ইন্ডিয়া আফটার 1857, when Sepoy mutiny took place, British Queen realized that it was not safe to leave the administrative power to East India Company. And after 1857, the British Queen, the contemporary British Queen, took over the reign of India. Took over the control of reign of India. After that, the Tatkalin British Rani was not able to do the same thing. রবীন্দ্রনাথ টেগোর বা রবীন্দ্রনাথ ঠাকুর যিনি বলেছিলেন বণিকের মানদণ্ড দেখা দিল রাজদণ্ড রূপে পোহাইলে সরবরি সরবরি মানে রাত মানদণ্ড মানে হচ্ছে দাঁড়ি পাল্লা যেটাকে আমরা বলি সে ইফ ইউ আর বিজনেসম্যান ইউ মাস্ট হ্যাভ দ্যাট ওয়েইং মেশিন আর হোয়াট উই কল ইন বেঙ্গলি দাঁড়ি পাল্লা বাট দ্যাট ওয়েইং মেশিন টার্ন ইন টু দ্য সেপ্টার অফ রুল রাজদণ্ড due to contemporary political situation. How was the contemporary political situation of uh, India when the British landed on our shore? India was divided into lots of small states. Mughal, almighty Mughal Empire was on the decay. And British people, I mean the East India Company, they realized that if they could capture power, then they could monopolize the business. What the business was? Business was uh, primarily to uh, capture Indian resources. I mean India was very rich in various resources like muslin, like spices, etc. Second point was to sell the British goods to Indian market by force. I don't know how many of you are aware of the fact that when British came to India for the first time, India contributed around 24% to the global economy. And after 200 years, when the British left India, India's contribution to global economy was around 3 to 4%. So that is how the British exploited us. But this is the historical things and you know history and the literature is integrally related. So if you ignore history, you cannot do literature very well. You cannot study literature very well. Now let me come to the language. Businessmen's language has always been very brief, very business-like, very terse. Unlike Indian people, the British people were very business-like in their approach. So even Shakespeare says in his famous place Hamlet, it, through the mouth of Hamlet that brevity is the soul of wit. Brevity means what we call in Bengali, Shankhiptota. That means the intelligent people talk less. Jara buddhiman lok tara kom pratha bole. 
সুতরাং হোয়েন উই রাইট ইংলিশ উই শুড কিপ ইন মাইন্ড দ্যাট আওয়ার এক্সপ্রেশন শুড বি অ্যাজ ব্রিফ অ্যাজ পসিবল অ্যান্ড ইট শুড বি অ্যাজ টার্স অ্যাজ পসিবল সো দেয়ার ইজ নো স্কোপ ফর ডাইগ্রেশন অন্য বাড়তি কথা বলার কোনো জায়গা নেই অল আওয়ার রাইটিং শুড বি টু দ্য পয়েন্ট ভেরি প্রিসাইজ অ্যান্ড ভেরি কনসাইজ অ্যান্ড টার্স উই শুড কিপ ইন মাইন্ড অ্যান্ড ইউ শুড কিপ ইন মাইন্ড ওয়াইল রাইটিং ইংলিশ এ বি সি ফার্স্ট থ্রি লেটার্স অফ ইংলিশ অ্যালফাবেট এ বি সি এ মিন্স অ্যাকিউরেসি বি মিন্স ব্রিভিটি সি মিন্স ক্ল্যারিটি accuracy means you must hit the point and nothing else you should not beat the bush around brevity means you must be very brief in your approach and clarity means there should be no ambiguity etao hoy otao hoy that kind of approach should be prohibited should be avoided should be shunned now when you are writing anything in english pressy letter paragraph essay whatever it is all these things i have mentioned are not included in your syllabus some of them are so whatever you write you must keep in mind that we must be very brief and very terse now let me make the difference between english and bengali in our agrarian society what the people do that after the days of hard work in the field they in the villages they came to a certain point they talk among themselves they indulge in various kinds of gossips etc but in england they are by nature businessmen so when they grow up they just go for sailing and they don't have any time to indulge in such frivolous talking gossiping etc because they don't know when they would be able to come back so there was no such uh, evening session which we have especially in the rural areas uh, at certain point so you know there is no such uh, type of gossiping etc in english society and it is reflected in their culture and in their literature if you notice that in bengali literature there you will not find very or i mean too many uh, literary pieces dealing with uh, the uh, sea life or the life of the fishermen etc there are two or three uh, such type of novels you can find manik bandopadhyay's padda nodir machi adwaita mallo barman stita shekti nodir naam debesh rai tista pare rupokatha ei du tinte tumra hoyto pabe kintu uh if you look at english literature you will find a plenty i mean a huge number of uh novels poems etc plays which are dealing with the lives of the people who are going to see voyage voyage means jalo jatra voyage plays an important part in english literature and you know why the british people took voyages because they wanted to do business if they cannot embark upon sea how can they reach the other shore to do the business there and their business reached such a height at a certain point of time that it was said that Brit- sun never sets in the british empire so their life shapes their language when you are writing english language you always keep in mind that your approach should be business like it should be terse it should be concise i may sound repetitive but this is i am doing deliberately just to hammer this into your mind so that you can never forget while writing your approach to study or your approach to write english it should be totally different from writing in bengali so when you write english you must master the style of writing english your expression should be brief your expression should be terse your expression should be concise that's all